welcome to your March 2020. This is going to be the what aren't they telling you for the beautiful sign of Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to the tribe, ow, hello, fam, bams, and hello to my members. Hi. Hope this message finds you guys all well and in good spirits. I must say... The air feels different when you're in when when they tell you you can't go out, right? I'm telling you. Wow. Didn't realize how much the outside affected my sniffles and my sinuses. So hey, maybe they're on to something. But that's another story. I don't even want to get you started. Hey Scorpio, because I know when I get you guys started, you got them some conspiracy theories. Marv, don't believe it. I know how you guys roll. This is going to be the what aren't they telling you, uh, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to be examining uh, what influenced you, uh, what, why can't I talk? Examining the what influenced with this quantum oracle, um, your partner's um, behaviors last week toward you, okay? Um, I know, okay, All right, well, their consciousness it says happy success. The card of number eight. Happy success. Okay, so did something turn around for you guys, Scorps? That's good. Let's see what's going on then. All right, with your bad self. So your partner seems to be uh, conscious, co conscious of happy, successful things um, between you, you two. So that's not bad, but let's find out. Let's dig a little deep. So this is coming from the consciousness suit. Um, and it is happy success. It is in the upright. Okay. So. All right. They've changed the way that they think. That's always good, right? Their conscience has been elevated. They probably were very pessimistic before. And now they're showing up as the happy success person. This card marks a time of great joy and abundance. This may be in the form of expanding wealth, love, or business achievement. The promise here is that you, you, the wish that you've been dreaming about is coming your way. So open up your heart. Open up to the success in your heart and to the happiness already in your life and get ready for so much more. Wow. Abundant blessings coming your way in the middle of everything. You still got something to look forward to. That's beautiful. So let's see how that transpired in their actions last week. Wow. Well, good. Good for you, Scorpio. I mean, trust me, with all of the layoffs and everything that's going on, it's hard to be optimistic about anything. Okay, so there's one, a six of wands. Something is successful for somebody, maybe. Oh, strength. Okay. All right. Show me the energy between Scorpio and their partner. Wow, the week of the 15th through the 21st, please. If you are connecting, oh wow, something financial, with a Libra, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, or Aquarius, those videos are ready for your viewing, as well as those extensions, okay? Wow, so something did come up, come about. Something did come about in the form of some type of financial abundance, um, maybe you were waiting on something to close. Maybe you were, you know, oh, the sun. Look at this. Happy success. And this is the, also, you know, with it being conscious, this is the um, changing the way that they think about it. I'm shocked. I'm shocked um, with everything that's going on. I'm happy to see it, though. I'm happy. Definitely happy to see it. Um there is an energy of the seven of wands here too. So let's see. Six. Hmm. We got something going on. I guess we'll find out. So yes, something was a success and some acclaim. I don't know whether this came in the form of some type of job offer. Um, but again, this is a consciousness card. So where, there could, where they could have been very pessimistic before, Scorpio. They're showing up last week, energetically raising their vibrations. And um, when you change the way that you think, you change your life. So 
I don't know whether they, uh, what brought about it, but something was terribly, terribly hard for them to do. Um, it could have been just changing the way that they think about the success in, the, in this relationship. I don't want to make it all about business, um, but there definitely is some type of business aspect with this Ten of Coins or Ten of Pentacles. What I just showed you guys were strength. Um, there's a lot of Leo energy here, okay? We have a double confirmation, a double dose of Leo with strength in the sun. Um, so when we start talking about all of these, all, this is a lot of fire. A lot of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I don't know whether that's in your chart, Scorpio, your, per your person's chart, but there is a lot of fire here. Um, someone closed on the house, got a new job. In light of everything that's going on, there's something to still be happy about. And in turn, by it making them happy, it raised you guys because this was um, a, it, this was something that you guys worried about, okay? So it definitely, with the sun, it made both of you guys very happy. So you can kind of put your differences to the side for a moment and focus on, you know, focus on the happiness of this, you know, the happiness of it. There is a holding your ground here with the seven of wands, holding your position. Um, that's interesting to me because there is an element here of having, having to balance something out in a people aspect. So this is a consciousness card. There was some people in this energy scorpio with that five of wands and this six of coins that had an opinion about how something should go had um made it difficult for you guys something that you and your partner is doing a job offer a move marriage possibly there is an element here of your partner having to hold on and defend you guys or defend this decision um ironically speaking though it's really strange because typically this is what they are not telling you but i don't feel like you're in the dark on this um i don't but for some of you guys if if it resonates with you the way this way although that's not the very first thing i picked up on but they got something that makes them very happy. I don't see a separation here, though, but we don't know. We still have a lot of other cards to get. But um, for some of you guys, you are defending yourself against other people and making this decision as a couple. Um, and it more so is not a what aren't they telling you. It's more so of what you may not be telling them as a couple. So I may change the title on that because... Um, um, especially if the rest of these cards support that. That's kind of where I'm going. You guys embarked upon something really big as a couple. Um, it could be a lot of trepidation um, um, or could have been um, very hard for the two of you because of things that went on between you. You could have went and involved these other people. Okay, that's uh, my conflict, quarreling, or competition card. Um, and now... You guys are patching your things up and on the same page and want to experience this abundance together. And people are like, hold up, wait a minute. So therefore, you guys are in the seven of wands. I really don't feel like this person is pulling the wool over your eyes, Scorpio. I feel like this is something that they got. And there is some pushback between people that love you. What was that? Uh, yeah, they, they, I see why now. So this, this, there could be an element of don't do this or don't do that with this person, Scorpio, because you know, you shouldn't be dependent on this person that much. There could be some arguing about your decision because your partner has gotten this and it's going to affect you. Now I'm starting to feel it now. Um, this feels like Someone doesn't want someone else to go with someone. I don't know why that narrative popped in my head. Somebody got a job offer. Somebody got something, a new house, a job offer, something that happened that was very successful. Your track record with this person may not be that great. Let's face it, wherever Scorpio is involved, um, whether you, it's you or this person, it has definitely been some drama. Let's just face it. 
Um, but that's just a part of loving a Scorpio, right? So it could have been these people that you went and talked to, that your partner has went and talked to about you guys' situation. Now they're looking at this situation like you guys argue all the time and now you're going to, I feel like this has something to do with a move, but I see codependency. Um, there could be some addictions. I feel like there's an element here of someone telling somebody something about the partner. So Scorpio, it could be you told people that you trust about this person. Yeah, there are some issues there. Now, it, yes. So there are some things between you and this person that has went left. And there are people that in your family that love you, possibly your parents, a mom or a dad, have strong opinions about this person. Um so I kind of feel like, especially with the, the nature of a Scorpio, you're going to do what the hell you want to do anyway. So I kind of feel like it's more like what you guys are not telling them. I might change it. Um, I'm still feeling that. Show me, spirit. Um, you definitely are. Yeah. So you and your partner are going to be sitting down, honestly discussing this impact on you two. And I do feel like... Um, I really, really do feel like you guys are going to move forward together. I have that confirmation with the chariot and the five of swords. The five of swords, that lets me know that you guys sat down and overcame whatever it was. Yes, there is some competition. There could have been some lies, cheats, and deceits in the past. Because we have a five of wands and the old energy and then the top of the deck. And in this particular spread, I don't even get that deep. But it's here. So I have to let you know. You're going to be moving forward. There could be some water. There's, there's cancer with, with, with the chariot. And there's my other five. Okay. Five of swords is lies, cheats, and deceits. Five of wands is conflict, quarreling, and competition. There definitely could have been some things that went on in this five of wands, as I stated, that has now balanced itself out. People on the outside looking in have a strong damn opinion about what you should be doing with this person because of the level of betrayal, Scorp. You don't give three Fs about that. Once you make your mind up to go, you're going. Okay, let's get some blockages here. Um, that's what I feel. Wow, that's interesting how that came about. We're going to get the blockages first, then we're going to get your, thank you. Forgiveness. Yes, you forgave this person. And that's the reason why you're so damn defensive. Because it's like, in light of what's going on, if this person got a house, I'm moving in with this person. I love this person. Ooh, I feel it. Look at that. Seven of Wands. You got them wands coming at you, too. No, Scorpio, don't do it. There's some codependency here. This person got some addictions. Absolutely imagination i embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind you look past the hurt you look past and this could be vice versa you look past that sport you're looking to move now move on this person has changed for you and that's all that matters for you they're successful they got a house they got something listen give me one more here so i can get my sports out of here Yes, we got some pride issues. Yes, absolutely. I love myself and see myself in any everyone. Yes, this person or this situation could be having you guys to pull into your pride. Let these people know. Look, I, I don't, you know, yes, there's been things. This is my relationship. But see, that is the price that you pay for bringing these people into this. Discipline. I can do whatever I, I set my mind to. Absolutely, you can. You absolutely can, okay? Thoughts, feelings, actions, or feelings, either one. What's going to come up for Scorpio and partner? Wow. Oh, two popped out. We're going to take it. That seems to be the status quo. Uh-oh. Being gracious, an abundant mindset. Hi yes, attracting what you want. This is... What is that? Gratuity? That's exactly what's changing. Okay? 
That's exactly what is changing. And then the other, an admirer from afar, fork in the road, option interested. I do feel like there's a certain level of this energy that has something to do with another person. I see both of the fives that, yes, there was some type of deceit. Yes, absolutely, because I showed that this energy ha ha has had to be strong. Scorpio, it could be that this is what they're going through with you. And they're not telling you this, or this is what's going on behind the scenes. They're being urged not to take you with them, okay? Because of the two fives indicating the betrayal, because of the lies, cheats, and deceits, because of the um, the comp the quarrel and the conflict and the competition, we know that there was another person here. Um, but I don't see it in the active energy, so I know that you guys are behind that. You had your heart to heart conversation. You guys are stronger than ever. About in lieu of what's going on, celebrating your changes, and you had your talk. Yes, there is a lot of healing family issues. So to me, that I feel a strong opposition from Big Mama or Big Jackie or some type of Big Mama auntie, auntie, mama, mother, father. Like there is strong opposition here from family members to stay or to reconcile with this person. Okay, let's get you out of here, Scorpio. This was interesting this week. And that's what exactly what you guys are being guided to do. Listen to your intuition. What goes on between you guys goes on between you guys. I don't see this third party energy in, in this in this um, choose a new direction. Okay. Take it out how it resonates. If it doesn't, let it go. Um, but you can you can interpret that a couple different ways. You guys have taken this and turned it around. Yes, there has been something that has went on in your past. You are in the process of healing and hashing it out. Due to what's going on right now, you made a choice to stay together. And that is um, what's that, that is your business. Your business. No one else's. Somebody put these people in your business, though. So whoever did that, tsk, tsk, tsk. Okay? No need to worry. You guys are going to be okay. All right. Wow. Like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Um, oh, there is something better. I feel like the angels are saying that, honestly, that there is a, a better way to look at this. I really don't get intuitively that the angels are saying, give up on this person. You guys have went through your own level of forgiveness and you really all you needed was people to get out of your business so you could do what was best for the both of you, okay? Yes. So I am going to leave you with this big happy, this happy success card and the sun, which is very telling of what's going on. Um, I don't know. Now I see the element of other. So, you know, I... I I kind of do feel like this is what you guys aren't telling them, that you're going to go. But Scorpio, if you resonate with the the whole video and that other option, that other option, that other part about how someone is in your partner's ear telling them that you, you're not a safe bet. They're, they're, and, and they don't want you to know that because they've already made their mind up. There is a strong force here telling them not to do something with you. They're not listening. Okay. So um, they're not listening. You guys sat down, you hashed it out, and you're going to do exactly what the hell you want to do together. Okay. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Whatever this is, congratulations. I feel like it's a house. In lieu of what's going on, you know, they're like, the, I'm not going to say, but that our fearless leader out here has been telling people, telling these people, the IRS and all of it, give the American people what they want. So maybe you are one of those people. There you go. The sun. And look at that happiness. Congratulations. You guys have something to look forward to in the middle of this mess. Be safe. I'll see you guys next week.
Bye, Scorpio.